I V M. Hello and welcome, everybody. This is episode three of season two. Hope everybody is safe and healthy. We hope we're all wearing masks. We are all following social distancing, and we are not using code words to buy drugs through WhatsApp. Uh, government mandates strictly. Hope all of us are following. But a uh, couple of important announcements. Not announcements, actually, just declarations before we get into the episode. One is bankruptcy. Oh no, not bankruptcy. Okay. Bankruptcy. <laughs> yeah, not not so soon. Maybe. Okay. maybe. the upcoming episodes no and we not, create our invoices then later <laughs> wow I, i think it's hit record already so we should not let others <laughs> uh happy international podcast day to both of you thank you sir play yes thank you sir play which apparently is the international celebration of the power of podcasts so i guess that makes us powerful but not rich and no pull but oh, yeah what does it describe Lovely, lovely. So, if you guys are also with us for season three, ensure that by the next, by next year, this day, we should at least be millionaires. Yeah. So, send us mm. money. Send all of us send money. And the second declaration is uh, Shivram, you had your birthday. Yes. yes. So, belated happy birthday from from uh, all of us here. How thank was you, it? How did it go? How did it go? Good, good. It was a fairly um, calm affair where uh, we, you know, didn't congregate as per norms. and uh, we watched uh, arsenal lose to liverpool uh, in our own individual houses and cried together but we were in the pain together just like every other birthday correct pretty much arsenal so, haven't done anything for a while so, so kartik now shiva is in his early 30s so basically that means less than five drinks and you're knocked out right five yeah i mean <laughs> too many it's too too many too many my god Okay, we are gonna uh, get into a break. Before the break, let's let's talk about what we're gonna be discussing uh, in this podcast. A lot of lot of interesting things in this game week. Uh, more goals than Shivram's age in this <laughs> game itself in the Premier League. Karthik, do we want to talk about Fulham's relegation battle right now? Or <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, a, bat- a battle implies that it's somewhat of a fair contest, and it is not a battle. This is some ass whooping that's happening. Oh wow! This has changed from just one week, you know. Like yeah. last week, you were like, I was, I literally, like, very fairly asked you, when are Fulham's first points coming? Yes, I and I guarantee you, Shivram, Wolverhampton Wanderers lost four nil, which was worse than our defeat. We will beat them the next game week. Okay. Um, Other yeah, so FPL mistakes will follow after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll try and skip FPL this time. <laughs> just like you yeah. skipped the wild card button. Yeah, dude. But no, we'll talk about that. But a couple of other things. Atletico Madrid have a new star, Karthik, and uh, Bayern Munich has already lost a game in whatever that league is called, Bundesliga. 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 B
before 15 minutes uh, you pulled uh, it out of course i did but what an app name uh penalty yeah, yeah so let's talk about that game let's begin with brighton versus united the the performance was shitty i'm talking about united of course uh, <laughs> but we eventually won bruno fernandes uh, gave i think was responsible for both the goals that united conceded but also scored the winner for them so i am happy i don't know about the both of you because you guys are hoping united would lose so i was hoping we just know but yeah. would you and before i let karthik chime in because um, he's a big fan of brighton as well you know of championship size he's known to support the underdog uh, but for united i think weren't you 2 nil down with mope scoring two in the first half no no we were 2-1 up actually and then they <laughs> scored... you were 2-1 up yeah you won nil oh, down rashford fabulous assist by the brighton defender for rashford's goal oh you're right you're right my memory is failing with my age so i apologize for that <laughs> also i think the recording will three days after the weekend so yeah I'm, i also tend to forget a few things but not that match but there are more interesting things that happen karthik you are a huge ancelotti fan right no, but before time. before before that something about brighton i think they have a record of the most times uh, a team has stuck a goal post or a bar without scoring something like six and uh, if i remember correctly bruno fernandes was asked after the game uh, they struck the bar so many times were they unlucky and bruno is like you're not paid uh, to hit the bar you're paid to score goals and we deserve yeah. to win so yeah also while facing united the bar is set really low yeah <laughs> so the record for hitting the hitting uh, a bar the most time in this group is karthik he has the <laughs> most number of bars that he's hit Well played. No, I want to talk about about Everton and especially that that front three. Karthik, do you think they they can score about forty goals between the three of them? Before you start talking, remember what you said last year, and you said who is this DCL? I have never heard of him. Seriously, man. Last season is gone past. You know, you're not. Let's not talk about last season. I mean, the clubs don't speak about the last season. Why should us? Why should we speak about it? So what has happened is Ancelotti last week I think I mentioned that he compared him to Pipo and Zaghi this week he's gone on to compare this guy DCL to Cristiano Ronaldo he literally said when James played well that one season when he played well for Madrid under Ancelotti he said Ronaldo scored a total of 50 56 goals across competitions he's like even DCL should aim for similar numbers maybe not 50 plus but like 30 plus so my god this guy is like going places yeah sure so you've been said, a huge you've been a huge yeah. fan of of the way they play yeah With the only reason uh, I've been a fan of him for the longest time is because I had him in my FPL team, and a lot of people actually um, they they negated his ability to score goals based on the eight nine games in Project Restart because I think he got one goal or something and he blanked uh, majorly. Uh, but what they've since done is now you see they have a you, they have someone ahead of the defense which is Allen. We spoke about him last year. Hamis Rodriguez. A lot of people didn't think will click. because uh, like fifa you know once you turn 30 your legs fall off apparently you can't pass the ball but hames is still 29 so he has one more year um richarlison i think has missed more he has the yeah. highest expected goal scoring uh, percentage whatever it is xgc i think it's called yeah you, uh, you don't say expected goals and all you just say xg man that's cool everyone XG. gets it yeah. xg x generation we have uh, matured audience listeners are very mature Correct. All are thirty plus. Me, you, and Karthik. <laughs> <laughs> so he, I think, has been unlucky. But one more guy who has been similarly unlucky is Che Adams. Now you guys remember I rated him last year also because I bought him for Portsmouth in my, you know, real fantasy of playing manager in uh, FIFA. Um, he's also been terribly unlucky. He's gotten a ton of shots. Uh, I think in the second game week, Guaita made a mad, mad save, which was point blank range. But he hit it. I mean, within Guaita's. you know space and loris also saved one when uh, spurs played uh, southampton so between the two of them i think very unlucky i think they will score more and this is my tip for this fpl and i will you know pepper them throughout the episode as opposed to giving them together so you have to listen to the entire episode what i think will happen this game week is then ings will take apart west bromwich albion uh, which other teams were unable to do or were able to draw because their defense is worse um and the other stat is that west brom's all the goals scored against west brom have been major like majority of them have been by strikers and uh, chelsea couldn't decide who's their striker so that actually led to the problem so otherwise i'm pipping ings to at least get two if not three so oh, that's a that's a good uh, insight i think ings 
is a part of a lot of teams and now also Shea Adams, a lot of people are picking up on. So a good game to watch uh, from an FPL standpoint, of course. I don't know what else is going to happen. But uh, we spoke about West Brom and were Chelsea unlucky, lucky, does Lampard know his shit, Karthik? Concede <laughs> uh, crawl their way back somehow. And I don't know what that was. Fist, he threw a fist in the air of victory of some sort. I don't know. What's, what's happening at Chelsea, man? I mean, they are inept. They have an inept manager. They have some pretty pretty good players, it must be said. But you don't concede three goals in 25 minutes to West Brom with Albion. And then come away with a draw somehow at the end when Tammy Abraham taps in with a, with a 3-3 draw. We're actually recording this after their Carabao Club exit to Tottenham as well, where they lost on penalties. And yeah. this is where their new keeper, Edouard Mondi, played. And uh, it was the worst penalty shootout you'll see. Actually, it was brilliant if you want to see goals. But a penalty shootout, the spotlight's on the keeper. All 10 penalties, there were no saves at all. The only way Chelsea went out is when Mount just missed the missed the entire frame of the goal. So, yeah, they're out of the Carabao Cup. It's, it's not looking great for Lampard. But, I mean, it's Frank Lampard. He's going to get time and he's going to get uh, a lot more leeway than anyone else would. Is he going to get the same leeway that Mourinho won't get? Uh, yeah, I mean, Mourinho... Uh, he pisses you off, right? I think that's what he did at most clubs. He yeah. pissed off the management. Whereas, I think Lampard is still... Uh, Abraham much rates him and the fans are not going to turn against him, etc, etc. So, I mean, it's fine. They're not... He expected them to maybe challenge for the title. Maybe they still will. But having seen Liverpool play, like it's tough to fathom anyone... Liverpool and Arsenal play. It's tough to fathom anyone challenging those two for the Premier League title. Oh, that's, that's good to know. Uh, we spoke about Mourinho. Right, what contrasting week for him? Uh, unlucky in that match against Newcastle. Unlucky because of goal through VAR, and we don't want to get into VAR because. Hey, but that was a handball. Yeah, I don't know what everyone's crying about. His hand is somewhere in the air. He's reaching for some stars or what? He's looking where the is other his way hand? though. But He's he may be looking, way. but he knows where his hand is, huh? Nah? No, anywhere that in is the not... air, he's putting his hand. <laughs> Like, like, have you have you moved to my building? Because that is what all the uncles there sound like. No, no. So so that was Eric Dyer, right? Yeah. 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 But he decided to shoot this time not on the pitch in the Carabao yeah. Cup match. <laughs> which is which is a great thing for Mourinho. But Mourinho yeah. followed you. So imagine, okay, put yourself in Eric Dyer's shoes, not shorts, shoes. Uh, hmm. you had to so this is seventieth minute. Okay, you're already one nil down to a absolutely horrendous Chelsea. You have to take a shit. Okay, is there a better way? You have to go for a bio break, Cholo. Let's make it a little more corporate. So, you know, uh, brands would still want to sponsor us. So, he had to go for a bio break. And you run towards the loo, okay? Because it's now or never, right? You don't want to have that picture on... All sure. or nothing. All or nothing. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> all or everything. So, that picture, if it does happen, will be plastered on all of Britain's tabloids. Right? And with different headlines. Like, diarrhea though, is written in the stars. You know, as Karthik says. Uh... So, you are already under pressure of the game. Then you have the pressure of the bowls. Now, suddenly your manager is following you and obviously is standing outside the loo while you're taking a shit. I mean, that is the worst. That is like a nightmare come true. How would you guys react if you had to go to the loo and Karthik uh, drop on recent developments? Um, <laughs> if your manager was standing outside the loo... I that, wouldn't be able to. Yeah, so then what do you say yeah. to your manager? Like, take a f***ing hike. You should say what Akshay Kumar told Paresh Rawal in Hera Ferry when he was standing outside the loo. <laughs> what did he say? Andar aake dekh lo. Arre haa, khajara dhoda chupa hai. Exactly. <laughs> Better shit curtain on the pitch. But, <laughs> but, but what I wanted to get at is uh, a wasteful Spurs are playing a, a terrible United next game week. I'm sure as uh, Karthik as an FPL master, you would ensure that nobody takes... Either of the defenders, or defenders from either of the two teams. But how? But is why? It why? Why wouldn't you suppre? Doesn't this seem like the exact match that will be like a one nil, maybe or even a zero zero? It just sounds boring on paper, and that will probably translate to the field because they, everyone is inept. <laughs> okay, I think we got that the first time. <laughs> Spurs haven't gotten a penalty yet. Is why Kane looks so unattractive in FPL. He missed a couple of easy chances in the game. United have gotten more penalties than every other team combined. Uh, what will happen over this weekend? It it will be a penalty shootout in the game. 
like they'll be peppered like the 10 penalties will be peppered on both ends so i highly recommend you take bruno fernandes and or kane because it's going to be a see the law of averages will catch up with spurs so they'll get all the penalties in one game and united get those many penalties anyway on any given day so together i think it's a good time to take kane and or bruno fernandes it will be a blowout i don't know what karthik's talking about their defenses suck they will their hands don't know where they are at any given point in time and that is true rules, with these new rules it's going these to are not rules at any point in the history of football you put your hand somewhere in the air where it's not meant to be and it strikes it it's a penalty i don't get what the complaint is about so they gave a penalty ah huh. very good talking, talking about <laughs> talking about sucking defenses city conceded five but i think i i want to actually give that to leicester leicester played really well i know city a couple of players played out of position uh, of course and it's going to happen for the next couple of game weeks as well they don't have an established striker uh, they, they <laughs> even with the issues they don't have an established striker <laughs> <laughs> yeah so now even he's not there so we don't know what's going to happen with the defense man yeah they've spent 65 million 50 million of course or 15 million with of for automendi on ruben dias dias how it's pronounced i'm not sure we'll do a pronunciation bit Dias is when you're in Bandrai, Bandrai <laughs> West, and uh, Ruben Diaz is when you're in Portugal. Nice. <laughs> and nice. they've got Nathan Ake, who scored a goal, but uh, they're conceding. They conceded five, which is not good. What uh, surprises for you? We were all hoping City would win and Leicester would be thrashed because there's no NDD playing for Leicester. Uh, yeah. The table they turned around. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just because this is City's boogie team, no? And this is. So they hate facing Jamie Vardy. I mean, he just comes alive versus City. I know he got two penalties, but then still they were both definite penalties. And it's it's just Leicester. I feel. I think they they just raised their game against City, and City have no idea what how to deal with them. And that second goal from Vardy was the goal of the season. What a finish! I mean, uh, the keeper had no clue. I mean, he didn't generally have a clue also when Madison hit that goal. Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, yeah. But Madison. I would give I would give uh, Vardy that goal of the season for the presence of his. presence of mind when he took that a little flick past uh, what's his name not alison alison is a good keeper edison uh, edison sorry my fantasy goalkeeper also vice captain oh really i mean yeah. in his team or in city no in his team karthik had him as the vice captain i am who's really? my vice captain oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so much attention to detail karthik is overwhelming so, so two people clueless about city pep guardiola and karthik are here <laughs> <laughs> yeah more thrashing for wolves at the hands of west ham one game that. david moyes is not around the pitch and west ham go and score four goals for <laughs> <laughs> petrolly work from home right david moyes I think, yeah i think he was ruining the style <laughs> so that's brilliant but but then i'm so happy I, enough of this bulls hype and all enough bas ho gaya i want you them beat, to beat it you what what hey. who's playing next weekend karthik ha uh, the fulham will beat them now see and uh, no but enough you know how much drama everyone will do about bulls one right. season they came up they did well and now they are buying every single portuguese uh, second choice player available and they apparently think they are a good side they absolutely deserve this like Oh, they have sold Jota. They have sold Do- Do- Doherty, and they have replaced them with Semedo. I mean, <laughs> and and people still find a way to praise them for doing that, saying they had a good transfer window, and they spent 40 million on some Fabio Silva, who nobody has heard of. It's clearly some shady deals going on behind the business with their agent over there. And yeah, I I hope it all comes. Move, someone knocks on their door. You know that phrase is there now. Where I don't know. I, you know. I have no idea yeah, what no. this phrase is. <laughs> But, but, but like one correction, Wolves did that two seasons in a row. So, but yeah, too much of their glory. Uh, we should start talking about their glory. We should also talk stop talking about Arsenal's glory and all these wins and more trophies. Wait, before you segue to Arsenal, bajaud. no, 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 no bajaud by Liverpool. Wait, 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 not bajaud also. Wait, FPL tip: take Jimenez against Fulham, captain him because I know Karthik <laughs> has a bone to pick with whoever Fulham loses to, which will continue to be all the other 19 teams for the rest of the year. But take Jimenez and take Saiz because Saiz is more he's found more in the opposition penalty box than his own defense line. So he'll get you more points. This is a good time and there'll be a blowout. Fulham have I think five easy fixtures from now till the end of the end of five weeks. So yeah, wasn't West Ham wasn't West Ham an easy fixture? 
relatively yes fair enough there were these things do take to fulham yeah, yeah i get it. i understand over the over the weekend and on and on monday a lot of upsets have happened which were unexpected let's like see losing arsenal losing so you know uh, these things do happen uh, but that doesn't mean we can't you know extrapolate uh, there's just a little anomaly okay are you done because arsenal were bajaoed by liverpool let's talk about okay, that let them dekha theek hai arsenal missed a lot of easy chances so i will give it to you that arsenal's fault for losing the game but arsenal should have closed it at 3-2 when lacazette has those two simple one on one chances i don't know who he was trying to impress obama i'm anyway didn't have a shot so might might as well score two so you at least you know make it a thing when you do that handshake and you know agle din facebook pe post youtube pe sab post post karna so like don't to mark the fir post karo na fir matlab Now you'll become like Fulham, where you're saying sorry for this team. We should do better, buy better players. अरे जो दो player team में खेल रहे हैं उनका क्या? उनको कैसे लगेगा? इनका तो कोई नहीं सोचता. I must say, but Chivram gave the best FPL tip last week, where he said uh, there's no point keeping Aubameyang in the side, despite the fact that he's classified as a midfielder. Uh, I removed Aubameyang. I got in Mane, and that was one of the best decisions because Oba was he was invincible throughout the end. No, not invisible, invincible, <laughs> invisible, <laughs> invisible throughout the entire game, and yeah. So that was an awesome tip by Sivram for FPL. So listen to him. Take Jimenez. Take Thanks. who's the other guy? Ings. Ings. Take Ings. Take Jimenez. Yeah. Take DCL. I'm telling you, your front line is going to have a bonker weekend. Yeah. Oh, uh, before moving on to outside of Premier League, because you spoke about people up front. Uh, how many chances is Werner going to get to lead the line for Chelsea now that Tammy has but, scored? But 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 he scored last night. He scored in the Carabao Cup last night, so he and it was a good goal. But where so, is he playing, Karthik? Do you know where his position actually so, is? So, so what what happened? In, so he generally plays as a striker, but then it depends. There's a reason Bayern Munich did not want Timo Werner there because then he would get in probably Lewandowski's way, and then he mm-hmm. would be sh- uh, shifted out to the wing. He's he has played on the left wing before. What Lampard tried to do over the weekend because someone would have probably told him, "Are he in Bundesliga? He played some time on the left wing. Put him there. Put him there." So he pushed him off on. <laughs> <laughs> so he pushed him out there, and but that's not his position. He's a goal scorer. Yeah, he's fast. He can run behind defenses, and he has a mean shot. Which, uh, yeah, he he scored in the Carabao Cup, and I think this is just the start. Werner will be a success. I I don't see it any other way. So he'll play. He's going to play the next couple of games and not. I, I think I think so. And and so the thing is, Tammy, he he's fine. But I mean, the last time Lampard started both Werner and Tammy. Which mm-hmm. is probably not the not the best decision. And when Giroud started in the Carabao Cup, Giroud looks off the pace. I think this is one season too many uh, for Olivier Giroud in in the Premier League. I do not. It's basically between uh, Abraham and Werner. And Lampard seems to want to start both of them. They both will start. Okay, I think that's all from the Premier League because we decided not to talk about the Fulham relegation battle or the poor defence that they have. So uh, we should we move to FPL? Should we skip FPL? I'm okay with the latter. <laughs> So I'll tell you this amazing, amazing headline I read today. Apparently, Deepika Padukone's phone was seized, right? And I don't know how far this is true. This could be absolutely fake news because it sounds like it. But apparently, it said Marlboro in some text, and she said that I meant Marlboro, like the brand, and then it auto-corrected itself to Marlboro. I think something very similar happened to Sapre over the weekend. When um, and it was really funny because we didn't chance upon this. Someone else actually told us this that you know in this league and we have a small private league uh, which we played from like I think eight years now. And uh, someone told us you know there are six wild cards in this uh, league on the same day, one free hit and one minus twenty four. And everyone was like, what what does minus twenty four mean, right? Like that is not even real. So he's like, no, this guy whose team's name is Mason wants to know. He's taken a minus 24, <laughs> and I was obviously napping on a Saturday afternoon because that is what I do at my age. I was napping, and I woke up to these messages, and I'm like, dude, I can't see it on my phone. I don't have the patience to go to the website on my desktop. Send me a screenshot, and there it was in all its glory. Eight changes, eight changes, six changes, six changes, minus 24. Gorav Sapre. Tell us about your uh, little adventure. Well, no adventure. It was a clear boo boo. I don't know why it happened. I think I was parallelly doing it on the phone, and it was also open on my laptop. I don't know what went wrong. Uh, I did score okay this game week, but yeah, I'm just like falling behind now. But I still have my wild card. I still have my wild card. So on the plus I, side, I hope I, I hope plus. I, I hope. Ah. 
I hope I've used it correctly. I have stood it up for the last two seasons. You hope you use it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope I use it and I hope I use it correctly. Uh, <laughs> so, Pray, if I may, uh, now I think because you you had a pretty decent game week and uh, in the same privately that I was talking about, you were actually ahead of some of the other people in spite of taking a minus 24. So, in a world where you hadn't taken a minus 24, you would have been at least top two or top three in the same league, right? So, that being said, I think there is only one way to fix this, and it has to be a chip or a wild card. Right now, wild cards way in the future. Now you're not going to take a wild card for now because you've technically fixed your team, right? So the next best bet is either a bench boost, and I'm sure you've not optimized your bench for that just yet. So I think your next best bet is your triple captain. And this weekend, Jimenez plays at home against a visiting side which is bottom to bottom. And I was watching, and you know how I'm interested in watching stuff on YouTube for free. Uh, there was this last year's FPL winner, Joshua Bull, is actually a scientist. He's a data scientist. He works for um, this company, which, you know, finds way to cure cancer. Uh, so cure cancer One second, say, but is, is this the same guy who was sacked or the actual FPL winner? Or he's the second place guy who got the prize the second later? Place guy, second place guy. So everyone who second doesn't know... Guy. So everyone who doesn't know, the guy who actually won was disqualified for whatever reason. Uh, I don't exactly remember why. Maybe he was making more than the one team. I'm not sure. But it was rescinded and awarded to Joshua Bull, who was number two in the eventuality of it and won it. He is actually a professor. He was doing a chat for uh, this uh, Oxford club, which is called Oxford Mathematics. And he did like an hour-long presentation. I highly recommend watching it for FPL fans because it takes... All your questions that you have every week about should you pick form over fixtures? So if your uh, if your players are from Fulham but they have a good fixture, what should you you know uh, give more? Oh, oh, okay, to? explain to me what is a good fixture. A good Fulham? fixture is uh, Fulham playing home Fulham. <laughs> Fulham. <laughs> when it's uh, when you're playing a easy team like West Brom or uh, this is not for Chelsea fans mostly or Fulham fans. Um, <laughs> And you have the chance to score. So that was one. And the other p- question was, who are you expected to captain? Right? Because you have 11 players in your squad. You want to captain certain players. You don't want to captain certain players. One way to also get to that decision is who's playing at home. Because they tend to do, you know, have better chances of scoring because they're more familiar with the sitting setting. And of course, at one point in time, you had home fans as well. Not anymore. Um, so those are two ways to do it. Jimenez is playing at home against a weaker side. I mean... One plus one, two plus two, Fulham is going to lose. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, Joe. I've, I've, I've heard your advice and I will continue to listen to your advice, but not for this particular game week because the millions of listeners that we have uh, will all take Jimenez and triple captain him, especially the ones in the football, football league. Karthik, how many of them are there in the league? You are close to the bottom. So <laughs> you would know the number of people that there are. Well, I am 190. If I'm not, if I'm not, so 191 mistaken. people who play, <laughs> play non football should ball. So, you're still play. higher than him with your minus 24. I got some decent, I got 47 points this game week. Not uh, bad. Hey, not bad. Yeah, we have around 250 people. Wow. Okay. Wow. Suckers. That's. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> so, I. Yeah, so I don't. I'm still have to. I still have to figure out what do I do for this next game week. I'm surely gonna get rid of Mitrovic. He's useless at the maximum. Fulham's also trying. <laughs> no, they're not actually. That's the problem. Uh, what do you mean he's useless? He's played you. He's played two games in total. The one game he scored two goals. Last week he didn't. I mean, did you see him play last week? Yeah, he's fine. I mean, he hasn't watched the play. He hasn't watched play. I, I did. I did. Fine. I did. I've seen fine. all Fulham games, unfortunately. Yeah, fine players get you to 191 position. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not that I'm too. I'm, I'm any better. My my boy Mitro is going to prove all of y'all wrong. This Wolves defense, now nah, he'll send them back to Portugal in a bag, in a suitcase. That Semedo will go flying back. No, I'm happy. If Wait and watch now. Price rise is not going to happen on Mitrovic. Even if he scored for 10, <laughs> 10 consecutive matches, his price rise is not going to happen. So I'm going to him in again. Don't worry. Oh my God, worry that's about. funny. Good, Good points, Afra. You're a pro of FPL now. I am. Well, I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> well done. Well done. So I don't have any tips as such. Uh, if you guys have any, please let uh, the listeners know. Actually, Shiva, you already gave more than your share of tips. Are you <laughs> anything from you? 
I think Arsenal are going are going to have a very tough run of fixtures if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, stay clear of anyone from Arsenal. Yeah, unless it's like a cheap buy, like unless like a Saka starts, which I he's not playing right recently. He's weirdly. not. He's not. He hasn't. Yeah. I think he would be a good addition to the. Yeah, they're preferring Maitland Niles uh, to him. Yeah? That's probably because they want to keep Maitland Niles at the club. I think it's a smart tactic. After October fifth, they can bring Saka in. Correct. That sounds good. Okay, I let's get into a break. Uh, no, but before that, uh, Shiva, do you want to give out the code? We don't mind having 500 more people join the football football league. Yeah, I can give out the code. It's H three O M Y A. That's H for Hidrashiva. R for H for Aler. Three as in the number three, which is like triple H, but which is which is what Chelsea concede all the time, and their main sponsor as well. Oh, nice, nice, nice. O for Obama Yang. Uh, uh, M for, again, Mitrovich. Obama wala M. <laughs> Mitrovich. Kider y for? Hi, Mitrovich. Ha, correct, correct. Y for? Yani Karasko again, because I can't think of anyone. Uh, A for? Obama Yang. Alistair Campbell. Alistair Campbell, very nice. So that's yeah. the code. Uh, if Alistair forget- Campbell, that Zimbabwean cricketer. Yes. How do you guys know him? I mean, sorry, I get it. We are a multi-sport podcast. We are yeah, you're fine. I had cards. I had centerfish oh, okay, cards. Okay. Who you, you, know, you want to know who's number one in centerfish cards? Richard yeah. Hadley from New Zealand. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what is Chaminda Vas' full name? Anakal Surya Pate Pate. Ushanta Joseph Chaminda Vas. Where I have this all information in my head. That's an outstanding word. That Vas full name yeah. that you know till date is outstanding. So, uh, all you guys who are listening, remember that name and we'll come <laughs> back on the other side of this short break. I hope it's short. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another awesome week on the IVM Podcast Network. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Intel, for supporting us. First, right off the bat, want to congratulate Ashton Doctor on celebrating the 300th episode of The Habit Coach. It's a great show. If you haven't been listening to it, listen to it now. And if you listen to it, you can almost go for an entire year with an episode a day. It's really fun. Do definitely check that out. We had Siddharth Roy Kapoor on Gaudi Devi Deals. This round's on me. Great conversation over there. Arjun Kolladi, the head of sales for Spotify in India, was on Advertising is Dead. Do check that out. Really fun show. Sonali Gupta has been on the network a number of times, was on Uncle Please Sit this week, and she had a great conversation with Joel and Tushar. On Cyrus Says, we had Samit Basu, the author, fantasy author, one of my favorites. Definitely do check that out. It was with Sub Memoria Week this week on the IVM Network. He was on Cyrus Says Cock and Bull on Thursday. He was on Lit Nama and, of course, his own podcast, Postcards from Nowhere. Do check that out. And one last note before we go, IVM Likes is back, and we've been doing a bunch of interesting conversations about different pop culture things that you might want to check out during the pandemic. Do give it a listen. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And with that, let me get you back to your show. Okay, Karthik, I'm going to start with you because what's happening at Real Madrid, I think... Sergio Ramos has won that match with a penalty and he missed a glorious chance at the beginning of the game. Uh, he was playing at the striker's position, which I think he is usually doing now. <laughs> so, what's happening with, with Madrid? The uh, top players are still not in. One top player is at a small club in London now. Uh, they, they will do well this season, it seems. Yeah, I mean, they, they, thought they won it only mainly because Betis had a player sent off. Uh, the poor right? guy. Yeah, and he's 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 technically on loan at Betis from Barcelona. He had an awful game. He got a head injury. He gave in away an own goal, and then he got sent off as well for bringing down Luka Jovic. I mean, a good victory, but then there was there was controversy regarding the penalty. It was a fun game. They're not. I mean, Madrid still need Hazard to be Hazard. And interestingly, uh, after the match, I think Zidane was asked about Eden Hazard, and he he's making some. He went on to say in Spanish. That Hazard is currently a certain word, which, right. which I, I don't know in Spanish. But right. right. So, no. So, in Spanish, that word means both. Uh, it means he's not ready and it means fact. It depends on oh, how wow. you use it. So, hey, we have these words a word in Hindi English, which means two things. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that there are plenty of such words if we, if we go out and look for it. So, it depends on the context that you use it. So, now the entire... 
Spanish media is like, what did Zidane actually mean? Is is he saying that Hazard is not fit or is he saying that he is not fit? You know, hey, this is like so, Gavaskar is making that comment about Virat and Anushka. Fit for yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that you're talking about. Yeah, so, but yeah, so it's, it's Madrid are fine. I mean, they'll be fine. The, the more impressive one, Sapre, was Barcelona, no? Oh, it was. It was all of... Everybody, including me, had cast aspersions on how they'll play this season with Messi doing all the drama and no Luis Suarez. But they have Ansu Fati, who won the man of the match but couldn't be given the award for, uh, for technical reasons. Uh, Best known to Karthik. Unless an alcohol brand wants to sponsor the podcast. But, <laughs> but good. Two goals. Coutinho's. Coutinho's made Barcelona fans happy for some reason. Uh, he left or? No, no. He didn't. His comeback is played well. He nutmeg the referee apparently. What are you because saying? He, so, he didn't get time when he got the Bayern. So, he wants to do everything. And he doesn't know <laughs> whether he'll get a chance to play as often uh, at Barcelona. So, he's doing everything in the first few games itself. Nice. I mean, uh, he will. They, they don't have players and they're not, they don't have the money to buy anyone. So, I'm assuming so Coutinho Karthik, will play and he played well. So, Karthik, tell me this, right? Messi scored. So, uh, I'm guessing there's no dip in his form and he'll continue to perform the way he is. Ansu Fati will definitely start and he looks like he's going to score more goals. Coutinho played really well and Griezmann was still ignored. <laughs> right? Does that what is going to happen with Griezmann? I am really not sure. Of. You're, you're you're basing it on one match performance. Maybe the four oh, of them will form one, this float, three, floating one. quartet. Thirty nine. Yeah. Now. Okay. But I'm saying now, if you have this quartet oh, up front, quartet. you have yeah, you have Griezmann. You have it's like an orchestra show now. You have Griezmann. I was going to say <laughs> anything to play, just making sounds with their mouth all the time. Hmm. It will be fun to see the four of them. And Griezmann will come in at some point of time. Yeah, he's going to do well. He played in a proper number nine role uh, the other time. Next next match, maybe Messi will play in a false nine and Griezmann will go out wide. So, you never know. It's, it's just exciting to watch this Barcelona side. I never doubted them and I never will. Oh, wow. It's never... I've, I'm not surprised that someone is praising a team yeah. who has scored four goals against a... Team managed by Una Emery, first of all. Also, also, <laughs> Karthik, we, do, we don't need the NCB to go through your WhatsApp messages about Barcelona. So, yeah, <laughs> NCB goes through or Navika goes through? Tell me who properly. It depends who's free. Who <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Thought Navika is first, but yeah, okay. But no, we'll, we'll, moving on from Barcelona striker to the new striker, Atletico Madrid has got Luis Suarez. Uh, now there's bark and bite, or what, uh, <laughs> as Costa said. Kick uh, kicks and bite. But lovely, what a debut for sure. It's not that anybody had doubts on his qualities, but to do that in his first match, fantastic, isn't it? I love Suarez, man. And I love the fact that Barcelona fans are now pining at him. You know, every time he scores and they look at him saying, Kya achha khelta tha yaar, free mein gaya. I mean, just let it go. Nah? Like I supported Real Madrid for the longest time before I realized I actually like Ronaldo and not Real Madrid. I think Barcelona fans also need to start realizing the day Messi leaves, they will realize they don't support Barcelona. They support Messi or like Suarez or I don't know who else is there in the club. They're farty kid. Yeah, I just hope Atletico does well this season and at least, if not win the title, at least come second. Yeah, Sapre, you're the one who should talk about Atletico. You have a soft spot since a long I, time. For I me. do, I do. But then they're going and trying to get Torreira. I don't know why. Torreira is a good player. Plus, he can speak in Spanish. Ah, yeah, because they have... There are very few players who can speak in Spanish, right? So that's, that's an advantage. Is it? But, Ath- oh, no, that's Athletic Bilbao. They only buy Basque players, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Not so really. I, yeah. I was happy to see the performance, the scoreline, uh, good attack up front. So I, I really hope that, that Atletico finish in the top two uh, this season and at least go ahead in the Champions League as well. This this could be their season is what I believe. Is there, uh, what is this top two race? Say I want them to be champions. It doesn't matter if you're second or you're third. It's fine if they finish third also. Just say I, I want them to win the title. Think with good points. You can say yeah. whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But let but uh, uh, former Atletico striker has moved to Juventus, and he was terrible there. Not that he was any great at Atletico. He wasn't terrible at all at Juventus. It's actually the two years of his career that he did well. He reached a Champions League final. They won both league titles that year. It's the only two years of Morata's career where he felt loved. I think it's a, oh, I, I wow, it's a very okay striker. He's a very okay striker. Uh, That's true. 
he's, he's not good. I I don't know what Pirlo's going to do with him because uh, the 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 move for Jeko failed because of whatever happened with Milik in Roma. So they had to go for Morata and they came out and said, no, no, but we love Morata and he understands Juventus and we are so happy to have him back. Couldn't hit the target even once properly in that hey, match. That reminds me of their previous striker, Higuain. You saw his <laughs> clip. He skied the one penalty he had in uh, MLS. And um, he was suddenly mobbed by the opposition players. I don't know in what circumstance he got that penalty. I don't know if it was reunited. They're coming back the next day to take the penalty. I don't know. But everyone was really angry with him. And they started pushing everyone. But you missed a penalty. You skied it. Not even on target. That is how bad you were. So, I mean, have some sympathy. You're you're giving moral judgments about players pushing another player for uh, missing a penalty. There's a certain club that that made that famous. What are you saying? Which club is this? I don't know. <laughs> Emily is failing. <laughs> hey, they hit us with pizza, na? Oh no, we only hit them. Sorry. The thing we've done to them in general. These are all allegations. We show the WhatsApp messages to prove. <laughs> Quick highlights from Seri. I don't know if Karthik wants to dwell uh, on it. I, I mean, you went to drop, drop points. So the episode is over. We can do it alone. You can uh, come back. Yeah, <laughs> but damn, it was, it was, I mean, we look at it, it was such a thrilling weekend, yeah? Like you had City getting crushed in the Premier League. You had both Dortmund and Bayern Munich losing and losing comprehensively in the Bundesliga. You had Inter come back from 3-2 down in the 88th minute to win 4-3 versus Fiorentina. You had Juventus drop, yeah? You had Juventus drop points and getting a player sent off, Adrian Rabio, and were lucky to come back with a 2-2 draw thanks to Ronaldo. Uh, it was an outstanding, outstanding weekend of football. Are you worst up in challenging Bottas for the... I mean, that was... A, the, the, the thing about that, no, Russian Grand Prix, it's, it's, it's boring, yeah. That there, there is... I mean, there wasn't much... There was a few midfield battles, but yeah. I think it wasn't like the penalties. <laughs> yeah, but it was. You remember the last two weekends where they were in Italy, in Mugello? Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. I mean, that it, was insane, yeah. yeah. Can't compare it because when there are a lot of penalties, you can't really decide what actually happens at the end of it. So, about penalty, okay, and this page has opened. It seems actually like a pretty interesting movie and it's available on Netflix. Yeah, it's a 2019 film. And mm. listen to this. A Manipuri man faces discrimination. It's great that a TV has someone from the Northeast as a lead. So that's fantastic. But this is the funny part. A Manipuri man faces discrimination when he joins the Lucknow University soccer team. Okay. Where is the funny? Yeah, you Lucknow University. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is wrong with Lucknow University, man? Why is it funny? I can't get I don't know. I just... It. Okay, fine. I just assumed. I'm being regionalistic here. So. Regionalistic? Yeah. <laughs> I got terrible. I don't know. I just read Lucknow University and I started laughing. <laughs> L-U. But it has Shashank Arora, so that, that sounds like a... He plays football. Know, I think he may be the Lucknow L-U captain. Oh, wow. L-U captain. <laughs> oh, I think uh, you've got it very embedded in that Wikipedia page, Karthik. <laughs> luck you, luck you. Actually, it should be called luck you. Yeah, yeah. luck you. Yeah. Are we done? It has, Are it we has KK Meran also. Wow. Sapre, you're the one who did this, okay? You said you just went and Google penalty and somehow it turned out to be a movie. So I had to also Google, na? Yeah, but I did that and I spoke about it at the beginning of the episode, so we don't have to focus. On it. According to filmcompanion.in, penalty film, on Netflix. Film companion. What is film companion? Film, film, film companion. Yeah. Okay, I need to, I need to read read this out. Penalty is a terrible football film with no sense of craft or politics. It's bad enough for a sports film to be so culturally culturally awry, but it's worse than the technical level is irredeemable. Wow. Yeah, you replace the word film with podcast and it will be relevant for a lot of football podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Happy International Podcast Day, guys. Yeah, from luck you and before the listeners tell us to uh, you. Let's go. Belated happy birthday again, Shiva. Thank you. And, thank you so much. Uh, Appreciate uh, it. Happy Podcasters Day or Podcast Day, International Podcast Day to both of you and to all the other wonderful podcasts on the IVM network. Do check them out, but check ours more. So if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on our social media handles. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I'm Fickleberry Hun on Twitter and Instagram. That's Huckleberry Finn, but Fickle. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, I am Sapre on Twitter and G Sapre on Instagram. You can reach out to me at IRANT, which is I-Y-E-R-A-N-T on Twitter and Instagram. This is Football Should Ball Recognize. 
Are you looking for India's most awesome cricket podcast? Are you now tired of listening to the same old guys drone on about cricket everywhere? Edges and Sledges is a weekly cricket podcast hosted by three fans of the game, Varun, DJ, and myself, Ashwin. It was established in early 2018, has over 60 episodes now, and is of course now proud to be on the IVM Podcast Network. Each week, we get together from three different time zones, the USA, the UK, and Singapore, and we talk about things from the world of cricket, with a focus on Indian cricket. We often interview special guests from all around the world, including former cricketers and cricket media personalities. So check out Edges and Sledges, the cricket podcast, now on the IVM Network. How many times have you motivated yourself to improve your sleep or lose weight or be more productive? How many times have you failed? Hi, my name is Ashtin Doctor. Tune into my show, The Habit Coach Podcast, where we focus on creating small, tiny habits to improve your life instead of those big, impossible tasks. So make listening to me a habit every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on the IVM Podcast app or ivmpodcast.com or on your favorite podcasting app.